Now, just when you thought you had seen it all in the octagon, we are graced with the presence of one Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, taking his act to mixed martial arts. I mean, he's so pretty, John. Now, you always said, I'm so pretty. He looked pretty inside the box screen. He intends to do the same thing inside the octagon tonight. This guy is such a great athlete. He talks what he's going to do, but he also delivers. Olympic gold medalist, boxing heavyweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has done it all. A true icon in combat sports makes his UFC debut tonight. And to the surprise of some, he told us in the fighter meeting he's got an appetite for the wrestling stuff. So we'll see if Ali can mix it up a little bit tonight. Happy to have him here in the UFC. Ready. Good. All right, so here we are back at the O2 Arena, London, England. We were not here when Leon Edwards confronted Jorge Masvidal backstage, the whole three-piece and a soda pit, but we're happy to be here tonight. Leon Edwards approached him, and he got a meal that he was not expecting. Oh, Let me tell you something, man. When you're in the arena, when you're in the O2 Arena, you better be ready to fight backstage or inside the octagon. Lands a quick jab. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Fight behind a nice jab. Nice. Elbow there blocked by Ali. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Beautiful uppercut there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice crack there. And he lands a knee. Oh, a huge block there. Lands a nice jab there. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time now. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Just over three minutes to go. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Shot to the body, good block. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, both, both landed. He will work with that jab, jab lands. Nice. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Under two minutes to go in the round. And he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ali. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. So he's just got to start kicking. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Oh, and there's a sharp lead hook by Ali. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Huge knee lands from close. Oh, he's separates from the clinch. Oh! oh, he might get finished here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 
Leg kick lands. Oh, he's in the clinch again. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Ooh, what a punch. 20 seconds to go in round one. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Huh? All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, it's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And Ready now, back. he's just targeting Ready. that cut on the nose. Good. Round two here. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Really good job by the fighter to land that kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent, really, with most of what he's throwing. Well, he can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing a baseball at the side of a barn. Uh -huh. he, everything he throws, he lands, and he's showing that he can do it, and he can do it in abundance. The pace that this young man is fighting at is truly something special. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Lance, a good series of kicks here. He's cut. Get the elbow. Whiffs on the straight right hand. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another Keep shot like that. Keep those hands high. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Hands going from the clinch, he lands a nasty shot from there. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Work, keeps on. going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Just over two minutes to go. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Watch knees to the body. Wow, actually got the takedown. 
Staying offensive off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. There it is, now he's going to mount. Oh, he got to his spot. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there, it's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, nice. Now lands a solid punch there. Oh, Two rounds yeah. in the books. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, most of you remember exactly when this cut happened, and now it is getting really bad. They're gonna have a lot of cleanup to do before our next battle. Yes, they're gonna have a lot of cleanup. I mean, I understand it's part of the, the thing, right? You go into a bloody octagon, you fight, you wrestle. It is what it is at that point, you know yeah. what I mean? That's the beauty in being at the end of the night. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, man. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, lead hook by Ali. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like a that. A full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this side kicking you with his shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, he's bleeding like crazy, champ. The stream is steady. At what point do you at least call in the doctor to look at the cut? You got to right now. I mean, right now, someone should be in here looking at how they can save this fighter from himself. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Look at the redness on his body, man. Oh, Superman punch! We have crossed the midpoint of this one.
He's got that jab working, nicely done. Big power shot there. All right, so there it is, yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, John, and you could think that he's setting him up to go up top, or honestly, if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes you. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Single leg takedown. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. Getting the ball here. Changing the position. Ali getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Big ground and pound. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Dude's trying to finish the fight. Oh, he's in trouble. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. You've got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Look to counter that hook. But at least staying busy on the bottom. Oh. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Oh, what's so that? Seconds winding down in round three. Three rounds oh. in the books, we are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. So here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice shot inside by the champion. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Nice jab. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been shot too. Cat mouse, you gotta play cat mouse. Hit and don't get hit, he does a great job of that. 
Oh. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Gets to the single collar tie. Leg kick lands. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. He's got that single collar tie. Liver kick. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the goal. Under two minutes to go. Nice diversity in the attack. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up at the fight stand. Push kick there to the body. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. Muhammad Ali gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, nice. Oh, big punch land. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. 20 seconds to go. Nice straight right lands. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, and mercifully, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest in that round. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. Check this cut, though. You know he's going after it. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. it is the fifth and final round. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Ali. Nice leg kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Oh, nice. 
Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Body shot there. He missed with that jab attempt there. Beautiful combination by the champion there. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He has got to change something. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Oh, straight to the body by Ali. Just missed with the left there. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Two minutes now to go in this one. And the strike lands clean. Right now they separate. Straight right hand, no good. To jab. Oh, 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 oh. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Oh. Oh. There it is again. Look at that. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, close guard now. And there you go, again, half guard. One minute to go in the fight. Mm, that was nice. Now he's going full mouth. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Nice elbow from the top position. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Lands with the ground and pound. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Oh, nice jab up top. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Big right hand. Oh. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here. And I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on, and tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad.
So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight.